what's up welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a cool minute i'm so sorry um i probably sound weird because i have my bottom retainers on i don't have the top because i'm definitely gonna sound super weird but anyways thank you for coming back to my youtube channel today i'm at sunshine gross nursery and i'm probably gonna be buying a lot of stuff maybe a little bit of stuff who knows if something cuts catch it uh can you talk if something catches my eye i'll definitely buy it if it doesn't you know what i mean so anyways, let's get on with this nursery tour. I've been in this one before, but I'm going to do it again because I haven't been here in like three months. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, you guys, so I am currently in the greenhouse right now. And they have a lot less than they did last time that I was here. But a lot of their, um, um, not snake plants, fire plants are flowering. And look, this Calathea maranta is flowering. I'm actually really surprised. I've never seen a Calathea maranta flower before. So I actually thought that was very cool to see and whatnot. They have a lot of pebbles and stuff. I guess this time around they have pebbles. I don't know. So I'm going to keep looking. So they have a Monstera deliciosa, and this one is $13.99. And they have a lot of other plants right here. The um, I honestly forgot what family that is, and then they have fiddly figs as well. And they have dracaenas right here. And they have snake plants. And they have ZZ plants. Uh, look at this, my face is a little red because I got my face, um, my face, I can't even talk. And then I got my face, um, ready yesterday, I was kind of curious. But I've got them, my eyebrows threaded before, but I normally don't do it. I play it only by myself. And then they have these false shamrocks over here. And yeah, my face is red, so... Sorry. I don't even know I have this mask on. There's literally nobody around me, and it's... Hot over here. It's very, very hot. Yeah, and they have small little ZZ plants and whatnot. They have a lot more in this nursery. There's a lot more outside as well. So I'm also going to be looking at stuff Say hi, Dad. Hello. Say hi. Hi. Mom. And we are over here at Sunshine Growers Nursery. Oh my gosh, this is Sage. We are here at Sunshine Growers like Nursery. It no, it doesn't. That yeah, does. Look at the bumps on it. No. <laughs> and then these ones are already like put into pots. They have a lot of succulents. This is kind of cool. Oh my god. Variegated. One right here. This one's um the bear paw succulent and it's variegated, so I'm gonna get it. Dad, can you reach that? This looks this one that looks like this, but it's right there. This? The other one. That one variegated one. Yes. That one looks cuter than this one. Dude, this is very good. Some dingoes. We have to be dry. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna bring these plants because I have this exact same one, but the solid green version. Look at a butterfly. Look at the butterfly. I think this one looks cute because I like the color, so I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, they're red. Give me that one on the side. This. This one or this one? No, that one. This one? Yeah. That one looks cute. I think I like that one, right? I like them. Thing. These are all succulents and then veggies and veggies all over Look, here. Dad, they have chilies on I this one. I don't Look like, this. I don't. What is it? Chilies. And it's flowering, and then when it flowers, it has a chili. Right here, see? Super chili. These are hot. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let me get one. Look at this one, Dad. Chilies. Chilies all over here, man. Well, uh, do these do these look better because they're. And so I'm making a video for my YouTube. Look how kind of cool this is. Oh my goodness. Is that good? I don't know. I would imagine. Then, uh, you have to buy that many? It's all stuck together. That one looks nice, right? Yeah, it has some chilies already going. It'd be fun just to grow it. Put it on the, on the cart. 
so we're buying some chilies oh my goodness i want to buy a tomato plant because you know your girl does not have time to wait for a put i mean a tomato to grow out of a seed because i've been waiting i think this one looks good this one? i've been waiting for the longest time i have a chili plant and it's still is that one okay well yeah it's gonna be you just need to get like a tomato net yeah here dad well is there one with the uh, it's has less on there? No, it's... These are also cool. And yeah, I've been waiting for my chili plant to give chilies. And it looks exactly like this. But it's taking forever. Yeah, so... I'll tell you when my chili plant decides to grow. And it's taking forever. I don't know why it's taking so long, to be honest. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. What are these? Are these like green peppers? But the picture's red, so... Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, where are those? What is this? Eggplant. They have uh, parsley. What is this, mint? I do not know what that is. But they actually look pretty cool. Peppermint stick. They are pretty, pretty, pretty flowers. Okay, look at these. Basically, all these need to be planted because the roots in this pot is a lot. Oh my gosh, I want to buy this. Is this pepper? Is this a pepper plant? Is this where grinded pepper come from? I'm confused. Sweet pepper, P O I V R O N. Good. You want to get this? I won't eat it, but yeah, it'd be fun to grow. Your grandma or your mom yeah. will eat it. They love bell pepper. You hear my dad? I won't eat it, but it'll be fun to grow. <laughs> <sighs> my dad is just as bad as me. Growing plants is not even going to eat. <laughs> Oh, those are pretty purple. I mean, they're pink. Ah. Look how bright these are. They are pretty. Can we plant those in the front, too? We don't have these ones. Mm. But they're cute. Okay. I guess my dad says I have too many flowers planted in the front yard. These are cute. I like these. I don't know if anyone knows the names of those pretty yellow ones. Please don't let me know. Why would anyone buy green bush? Look how pretty these are. So they have a lot of these laid out. And a lot of pretty plants doesn't mean you have to buy all of them. Yes, it does. of pretty pretty plants. I kind of want to get a dragon fruit tree. This is like grow my own dragon fruit. Well, it's not even a tree. It grows in a cactus, first of all. So, I actually really, really like this nursery. Sorry, um, I don't request you with like half the mask on. But I like this nursery because it's literally down the street from my house and it's very convenient to come here all the time whenever I want something. They often have Hoyas. And whatnot, but when they get them in stock, they're not like a high stock of players. I heard they only get like a hundred or so at a time, and they sell out really fast. I've got some of my Hoyas over here in the greenhouse, is where they have them. Um, yeah, oh, my eyebrows. This is where I normally get my plant food. Like, I don't have this brand because I bought this fish fertilizer from um, Home Depot or it was a rose. But I do have this one. This one works really well. Again, this one's a seaweed extract. And I really like it because it um, does not smell like the fish fertilizer. Okay, so actually, I was making a video earlier. Um, this is going to be add on. So my dad insisted on buying me ladybugs. And I was like, no, I don't think I need any. Like, I bought them before, they don't really live a long time, they don't have a lot of stuff to eat, right? Anyways, I unleashed some in the backyard because I do have my plants here, 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 and I also have some over there. So I took the lid 
And I got like 20 ladybugs in the lid and then I put the lid right there. So hopefully they'll find food to eat. And then, um, I believe right now they're just probably going to be walking around, probably trying to inspect stuff. And honestly, um, I do believe, well, I just did put these mosquito bits here. And mosquito bits should not hurt or harm any beneficial insect. So technically it's not supposed to harm a ladybug. But I have milkweed plants, correct? And I'm so happy because my milkweed plants have um, butterfly eggs on them and they're hatching um, caterpillars and whatnot, which I'll show you those in the front. And I found aphids on one of my plants and aphids will kill the butterfly larva and the butterfly eggs as well. So I just unleashed a whole bunch of ladybugs and they're all around the place over here. So they'll probably eat fungus gnats because I do believe there's a little bit, but not so much. I know there's not too much over here. Because for the most part, I tried to um, get the fungus gnat situation resolved. But I didn't want to put too many ladybugs in the front because I have my butterfly plants there, my milkweed plants. So I just put the ladybugs on where I saw the aphids. And I actually got a really cool like picture of it actually eating an aphid. And some of them are flying away. Um, so I hope you guys do your job. If you like here, you could live here. Um, if you don't like it, you could always move to the front of the yard. Let's see. Yeah, so we got these at Sunshine Grows Nursery. These ones were like, I think, $8, $8.99 around there. Look at that. Ooh, here. And then we'll just put it on the, so the last time I got... um. The ladybug, I really didn't care for it. I mean, it did help a little bit. But, I mean, I've never actually seen them actually eat stuff, eat stuff. And I'll show you right now. So, those right there are my milkweed plants. I just got the two black ones today, the two orange ones. I previously had them, the ones in the black containers. Um, they weren't flowering in anything, but they actually do have small little um, caterpillars on them. And then this right here. Oh, those, don't mind those. I let them die on purpose. I didn't like them. And so, right here. See that black knot? It's like a little green thing. And if we want, we could take some ladybugs and help them. I'm trying to help them eat. But there was a whole bunch of aphids in this tiny little leaf. Actually, believe it or not, there was a lot. And I actually got some videos of them eating aphids. And yeah, I literally just threw a whole bunch over here. I'm sorry if my recording is a lot sloppy right now. I do not mean that. And let's see, let's see where he goes. I think he's gonna see the aphids. But you just passed the aphid. Go back, go back. Yeah, and if a ladybug really likes the environment, they'll keep repopulating the same environment. If they do not, they will end up moving. And I'm so happy because there was like 20 aphids. This whole thing was covered and a oh, ladybug right there. And they literally ate it. I'm going to insert the picture right now. And then we're going to find, hopefully it's far away enough so they don't kill um, the, oh my God, a caterpillar. The caterpillars, wait, wait, don't move, don't move. Stay still. So... As you can see, come on video, zoom in. Is it going to focus or not? Can you see it? It's right there. And there's a couple on this plant and that's why it has like holes and whatnot. Because um, they do be eating the plants. And we had butterflies a while ago, because my mom's a kindergarten teacher and she teaches about butterflies and whatnot. So we had these a while ago and they were literally eaten to literally a stump. And my mom thought they were dead and I was like, no, I'm pretty sure if you just give them water, they'll grow back. You know, that's the sort of plant it is. And lo and behold, I started watering them and they came back. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the caterpillar. Right. There. I'm 
this is where you guys can't see this. I'm trying to show you guys. Um, it's right there. It's right there. And you could also find the eggs on here. Like, there's an egg right there. See that white dot? It's like a whitish yellowish dot under the leaves. So butterflies tend to lay their eggs under the leaf right there. So if you find little white dots, um, please do not like try to, I don't know, try to like um, clean your plant off because they're actually monarch butterfly eggs. There's literally one right there too. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the leaf? See that? Right there. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how big this one is. And that's a monarch butterfly. And monarch butterflies are not poisonous to us. However, they're, um, when they get hunted, they are poisonous to other animals and insects and whatnot. Anyways, you guys, I was actually so excited to show you guys all that stuff and whatnot. So, um,. Yeah, I'm actually very excited. I'm actually very happy that the plants got butterflies now. So that's a win-win. And oh, oh my god, so I got my face dirty yesterday and made my face. Hi Destiny. Super sensitive. You want to see my dog? Anytime I move. Destiny's a good girl. How cute my destiny is. I love you, Destiny. I love you. She always wants attention. If I stop touching her, watch. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much. Please give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, um, make sure you watch it all the way through. Comment if you need anything or want to see anything or anything like that. Um, I would love to hear from you guys because I can make my channel better. I can only make it so much better until you guys recommend a lot more stuff. Because I don't know what you guys want to see, but I do know the videos I want to make. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed um, seeing the lead bugs eat the aphids. I thought it was super cool. And I'm so glad I got to share with you the butterfly uh, plant, which is the milkweed plant, I am so happy I was able to show you guys caterpillars on the plant, if you can see them in the video or not. I really hope you got to see them in the video. Thank you again for watching.